Joe Clean, Southern Hospitality, February 13th, 1990, 97. Kelsey, the first clean by marriage, not by blood, emerged from the shelter of her bedroom, sneezed as she exited Suite 2C and encountered the bright morning sunshine. Bless you, the three clean brothers exclaimed in unison, Justin adding, good morning, sunshine, as he rises from his seat on the patio and buses his wife. Sleep well? Thank you, she replies, adding, good morning. Yes, nice to sleep in. Am I the first girl up? First to show her pretty face, at least, Joe replies. Misty could be in the room reading. And you're welcome. Glad to protect you from the devil. Pardon? Kelsey asks, eyebrows knit, and a laugh in her voice. Did he come calling? I thought he was down in Georgia. Or should that be up? Either way, he's looking for a soul to steal, Phil declares. Because he's way behind, which ipso facto means he's looking to make a deal, Justin confirms. All of that is true, Joe acknowledges with a nod, but the custom of saying God bless you arose in medieval times because it was thought the devil could enter us when we sneezed. So you're welcome for us interceding to protect you from demonic possession. So nobody blessed you once, Kelsey asks, her head tilted to the side, right cheek raised and smile, and her eyebrows raised to the point of deeply furrowing her forehead. Et tu brute? Then cry seizure, Joe responds, moaning deep sorrow with an on the brink of tears visage. Coffee? He asks perkily. No, I'm fine, thanks. I'll get some ice water. Has the Council of Brothers made plans for the day? Not for the day, but we were discussing ziplining with the Lewinsky's tomorrow, Justin says. We took a vote and we're in, assuming you think that's a good idea with the baby and all. Oh, I hadn't thought of that, Kelsey says, making a face. I mean... Dr. Sheath said that other than avoiding alcohol and staying hydrated, I should feel free to do normal activities, and I guess this qualifies, right? It's normal for you to do something you've never done before? Justin asked, eyebrow raised. You know what I mean, Kelsey exclaimed, shaking her head. Safe. I, I, I guess we can ask the outfitters. Here we go again, <laughs> Phil chuckles, asking the cat if it's safe for the canaries. Impeachable sources. Peaches, Misty asked, poking her head through the sliding glass door. I was promised peaches yesterday. Never got any. That was three days ago. Or four, Joe says, jumping from his chair and rushing to his wife for a kiss. Depending if we're being inclusive or exclusive. Who are we excluding, Phil asks. Misty rolls her eyes as she kisses Joe. Coffee, she asks. Just need to push the button, Joe says, squeezing his wife's arm and stepping into the sweep. I'll get you going. And you'll push her buttons, Kelsey asked, who was retreating for him. For that, I may not bring you your ice water, Joe declares, leaving the patio with his nose in the air.